Hi guys, uh, welcome to Classic Sitcom Facts and Trivia. I hope you can hear me. I gotta keep it down a little bit. My son's taking a nap in there, uh, which is rare, so I'm letting him sleep. Uh, today's video, uh, do you remember the show Hazel? I didn't for a long time. I, I went over to my mom's house one day and she was watching it. That's a very funny show. So I decided to, uh, I've been watching it since, uh, but I decided to look into Shirley Booth, who played Hazel, to see what she was about and found some interesting things. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, at age 12, she joined the Hartford Stock Company. Uh, for the next six years, she did up to three plays a week, sometimes walk on uh, touring road and stock companies. She became the fourth performer to receive the Triple Crown of Acting, winning an Academy Award in 1953. Three Tony Awards, 1949, 1950, 1953, and two Emmy Awards in 62 and 63. Uh, she was born to Albert James Ford and his wife Virginia Martha Wright. She had one sister, Jean Valentine Ford. Uh, she campaigned for the lead roles in Summertime and Desk Set, both which she originated on stage but lost both parts to Catherine Hebburn. Um, she divorced from Ed Garner in the 1940s. The marriage was rocky, uh, was a rocky one as Garner was a drinker and an inveterate womanizer. She remarried in 1943 to William H. Baker, a kindly investment banker. The union was happy, but relatively short. Uh, she was in rehearsals for a tree grows in Brooklyn when he died suddenly of a heart ailment. She had no children. Her father, Albert J. Ford, was a martinet, a salesman for IBM Corporation, and was a stern, uh, stern taxmaster. He was clo she was closer to her mother, Virginia Wright Ford. Her parents separated when Shirley was in her teens, and her mother died in 1933. Her father remarried and lived his life out in Brooklyn. When Shirley decided to act for a living, her father forbade her to use the family name, thereby losing the Ford and the Thelma in her name and becoming Shirley Booth. After her parents' divorce, she never saw or spoke to her father again out of the cruelties he inflicted on both her and her mother. Uh, she is mentioned by Jason Alexander's character, uh, George Costanza, on the Seinfeld uh, episode, The Subway. She's one of the 12 actresses to have won the Triple Crown of the acting. She's won an Oscar and an Emmy and a Tony. The others were Helen Hayes, Ingrid Bergman. Liza Minnelli, Rita Marino, Maureen Stapleton, Jessica Tandy, Audrey Hepburn, Anne Bancroft, Vanessa Redgrave, Maggie Smith, and Ellen Bernstein. Uh, she later auditioned for, but did not win, the title role of radio's R. Miss Brooks. Eve Arden got the part. Um, portrayed Miss Duffy on Duffy's Tavern. Uh, it's a CBS radio, 1941 to 42. Uh, won three Tony Awards in 49 as Best Supporting Actor on Featured, or Best Supporting or Featured Actress, Dramatic for uh, Goodbye My Fancy in 50, uh, for Come Back Little Sheba, a role she created, uh, recreated an Oscar winning performance in the film version. Uh, the same name, Come Back Little Sheba. And then 53 as Best Actress for her time in uh, Time of the Cuckoo. I found hardly anything on her, or anything on the, the show. I, I find it difficult to believe it's such a really good show. Uh, and I find it amazing that she's not the only one that uh, kind of cut herself off from her father. I, I read that on several other actors back in that time. It's really strange. Uh, I just think she's very fascinating, and I'm going to try to get more stuff on her, but it's just very difficult. I don't know why that that Hazel, as far as I know, is a popular show. Um, let me know if you guys know anything. See, <laughs> teach me something, please. Um, that's all I got for you. I hope you have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you.